In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how to track a journey on a map. Now we have three earlier tutorials on how to do this, but I found a technique that I think is much more efficient than any of those. So if you want the best way to do this, I'd recommend the following technique. So we're going to give you an example of the end product and then show you how to do this. The next step is to take the map that will be the background for my journey and bring it into an editing program. I'm using Photoshop Elements 2018 in this particular case. So with the map on the screen, I'm going to enlarge it a little bit. And then we're going to draw a little bit of a journey on top from one city to another. So I take my line tool in my draw section and I choose a color. I'm going to use a green because it stands out from the background pretty well. And you can choose a width of your preference. I'll use about nine pixels here. So we'll take and we'll draw from one city to another. And uh, it's not too hard to go in straight lines and make yourself a little bit of a trek across the map. We'll just do this for now. And then I'm going to save this as a PNG file. I'll go File, Save As. We'll call this Journey once we choose our file type. And then click Save and click the OK button. And now we're going to uh, close this image. I don't want to save the changes. And I will open my journey PNG file that I just created. The next step is to go ahead and take the green and turn the green to transparent. So I'm going to enlarge my image again so we can see more clearly what's going on here. And the best way I found to do that is with the magic wand tool. With the magic wand selected, I click on the uh, green and I press the delete key. And what it does is it turns that area into the checkerboard, which is your transparency. Now, when I'm done with the entire journey, I'll click File, Save As again. And we'll call this Journey-T for Transparent. And I'll save it. And so now I'm done with this section. We'll return to PowerDirector. So now that I'm back in PowerDirector, what I'm going to do is take my original untouched map and put it on track number one. I've done that already. Next, I'm going to take and import the media. I'm going to take the journey with the transparency on it. That's the only file I need and import that into my media room. I'm going to take this file then and drag it down to track three because I have something special we're going to do on track number two. So track number one is my untouched map. Track number three is my map where I have that line which is actually transparent. Now you notice it looks black here. That's because black signifies there's nothing uh, through that color. Black is no data at all, so the transparency is indeed showing through, even though it looks black. And then what I need to do is go into my video overlay, my PIP room. I can press the F5 key, and instead of loading anything in my PIP options, and it might pop up something like this, I click on the pencil at the very top. And we're going to create a, a paint. This is called the Paint Designer Default. I want to use the Pen tool because I want this to be solid. And you notice how it changes. Now I can take any color I want. It really doesn't matter. Um, let's take something contrasting. Let's take a blue. And any width I want. Uh, I want to make sure it's just wide enough to cover the line. And My line was 9 pixels wide, so this is 
uh, far and away big enough. And then what I'm going to do is draw a, a line along the journey. To do that, I have to record my drawing. So I want to try to draw at a pretty steady pace. So click the record button. And then we're going to draw. All we have to make sure we do is that we cover the line. And then we'll stop the drawing. We could add freeze time to it if we want to, but we'll just click on uh, OK, and then it will want a name for this template. I will call it uh, Michigan Journey. Click OK. Now it will begin to play that on the screen. So what I want to do now is to take this newly created object, this mini movie, if you will, and drag it on track number two. What it will do is it will act like a mask does in another situation. So when I play all three of them, let's see if we can enlarge this a bit, make it bigger. And if we go ahead and play, you notice that blue color is the color it picks but it picks the smaller line, the 9 pixel line, that uh, we used originally. And so it will go from city to city, just as I drew it out. And I see I have a little bit of a goof here. Uh, that is how it works. And I enlarged the, the pictures of the map to match the pictures of my graphic. If I want to do the graphic over again, I can go ahead and create another one where I draw it better or I draw it at a different pace. That's a, probably the easiest way I've found in order to make a journey on a map using this particular technique. It's really nice. Mm -hmm.